But you know, I just love the league uh, for all the twelve. I love it. Um, there's lots of mistakes, lots of loads of um, gone bust and came back. Some have gone bust and never come back. Um, but it's a terrible league and it's the top football in the country. So uh, yes, it can be improved dramatically. But as it is, it's all I have, and I love it. What makes a fan? Um, I suppose loving your club. Uh, I suppose the big question: How do you love your club, or why do you love your club? Um, I became a fan with everyone winning nothing, so that means I could be mad. Other well, people become fans because a club is winning something and they stay with them, or they just stay with them. Um, I just came fan uh, as a child, came to the history and the colour of the jersey. It's, uh, as I say, my father brought me every Sunday. So, uh, I could have just felt I could have as a child. I could have fell in love with the drums jersey. But just something magical about the children, the name and the jersey. Uh, you know, how do you follow Hartlepool? You just because you're born Hartlepool, but um, or Darlington or Southend. If you're if you're just a TV fan, you probably follow the bigger clubs just by seeing them win the trophies. Or yeah, but to me, children, trophies and not trophies. Going, going back to the early six, my father uh, um, uh, was the eldest of eight, uh, so he, he and then my brother um, he he went to Tolga Park every in the winter. Nearly every Sunday, he went to Tolga Park. Um, and in the summer we went to Crow Park. Um, and it was drums one week, Shaz the next week, and Dublin in the summer, and even other Gaelic matches. As he had more children, he stopped going. And I put, uh, the magic of Shelburne attracted me, and I just, I started going on my own. Just Sunday afternoon, give me half crown, and, or two shillings, and off down, pay me six months in, and the bus fare, etc. Uh, and it was just the Shelburne name, I think, and the jerseys. Um, I just, I haven't stopped going since. Uh, just loved it. Uh, we won nothing for nearly 30 years while I was going to bar the Leinster Cup and the Shield, but it never stopped me going. And here I am, uh, nearly 50 years later, still going. Push, go ahead. Push, man, hard. You're welcome, you're welcome. Oh, there you are. Good, yourself, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't do any harm, the green was really hard. Go ahead, son, push hard. Oh, Jerry, how are you? Those things. Talking about you a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Seven, Jimmy. Um, that shows me strange because I, I, I'm, uh, I'm in the styles. So it's not like a regular supporter. I, I don't think I've ever seen the thing come out in Talk about in modern times. Because I'm always. Uh, voluntary, by the way, not, not uh, self self inflicted as regards. Uh, it's not a job, it's just. Uh, so my match day to me wouldn't be the same as, say, a regular supporter. Um, probably more so away match days because I. Um, I see I'm there from beginning to end as regards the, the match where in Talca I at home matches picker I the first half is hit and miss depending on how busy we are or, or etc etc so and then the people always tell me oh, you missed the first half was brilliant. No matter how no, no genuinely it's a bad match people always tell me the first half was better because they know I missed it. I get frustrated doing the styles when we're playing rowers at home and bowls, yeah, I just I'm just because when I hear the music and I especially with a good crowd in um, yeah, I, I, I have to give this job up, I have to. Because um, we did good for you giving it up over the years, and uh, I said, I might make this me last year. Maybe. So, yeah, um, maybe I'll take a break here after next or something. Mini Stadium, the autom automated gates. It won't be needed. First Division and Premier Division, I, I, I love away matches, I love away trips. I just, I just like going on buses. I don't know, maybe. Um, just love. Particularly, First Division, there's always a. It's a very strong process you'll get a result. Um, being one of the stronger teams in the first division, even though we didn't have money yet. And bar 07 when we got demoted, um, 08 up to 011 when we got promoted, uh, there were fantastic divisions uh, for us because we were right up to dead. Every match was a vital match because we were never too far ahead. And we were never too far, we were always in a chance to win the league right up to death or, or uh, getting into a promotion, uh, promotion playoff. So yeah, it's been, the first season has been fantastic. And the club's only 20 years old next year, so. so and it's, it's had a few close deaths experiences, so. All that's happened, we're still here, and at this moment in time, the things are looking up, so yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm quite content. This, as we're all aware, there's rumours about ground sharing and ground moving, and as a, as a, as a, as a the only pain as a fan, I'd prefer to share, if, 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 if the powers to be, be it Shelburne and Bowes or Dublin City Council, um, all three come to a decision. I prefer, obviously, the first choice would be Chair Talca, but both evenings, uh, if not Chair Dagenham, I prefer to stay in the city than move to uh, an outer city. Get over here! 
Never easy, is it? What's that? Never easy for us. Wow. I don't pressure I turn, but I've missed three matches in uh, probably 30 plus years. For um, two weddings and one hospital. Yeah, I, I, I don't feel any great. It's just what I do. It's 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 it's, it's unique to me, but that's just because I like doing it. I don't. Yeah. Uh, it can be heartbreaking, frustrating, and um, it's magic. Just the name Shelburne. Even for the heartaches, the good times really are fantastic. And uh, last 20 years, 30 years, we've had good times. And um, get your jersey on and come down. You won't, you won't go straight. Yes! It's hard work, huh? It's hard work. It is.